To braze aluminum, you'll need aluminum, of course, a wire brush, some brazing rod, something to clamp it together, and a propane torch. I'm using burns o -Matic brand aluminum brazing and welding rods, and they have a working temperature of 700 to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll start by cleaning off the two surfaces. I've already done some in advance, but I've cut it out so that we can get to the point of this whole thing. Clamp them into place. Then we'll use our torch to heat it all up. Okay, now we have to heat this up to 700 degrees before the brazing rod will start to melt. It takes a little while, but we'll get there. Now you want the metal to be hot enough to melt the brazing rod. You don't want the flame to be the heat source for the melting of the rod. Now to check to see if it's hot enough, we're just going to take the rod and we're going to swipe it into the joint. It's too cold so it's not going to melt. You have to keep heating. We have a time lapse of about five minutes here that I've been heating up this metal. So let's see if it's hot enough. There we go. See that the metal's uh, melting onto there? Now we're just going to swipe it through the joint. That's simple, I'm going to do the other side now. Keep in mind that this gets extremely hot. You want to be careful with everything that's touching it, including the pliers that you're using to hold it together. Now here's some water. You see it just feeds right off. Once it cools down enough, there we go, then we'll start to take the water. Now you're not supposed to use water to, to cool off the joint. I'm just doing a demonstration here. So keep that in mind. All right, so here's the aluminum that was brazed. We're gonna try to break it in a vise. All right, so I'm sure if I kept going, I could finally break it. But you can see how structural it is. It does a pretty good job.